Hey, man, I was nowhere near that pool hole when you killed Martinez, all right? Yeah. You saw the whole thing. Back off, all right? You let me do years in Statesville when you knew it wasn't what it was. You knew it was self-defense. Don't tell me what I knew, huh? And tell me who told you I was there, huh? It's none of your business. I know. Look, you didn't hear from the police, because they never questioned me, all right? So somebody told you, and I want to know who it was. Now you admit it, huh? So you were. Ah, my darling Leslie. You dance divinely. But he dip. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, who would have the nerve to interrupt us at this moment? Let's go find out. I'm doing one of my favorite songs. Who could it be? Take a boo. Hello? Uh, Maggie. Hi. Hi, Leslie. Come on in. Thanks. So, what, are you getting to be dancer? Hey, you can never start too young. Mm, spoken like a true hooker. I bet you this little girl could dance with her daddy all day long. The tango. <laughs> but I need to work with her brother. I promised somebody I'd meet them on campus later. So, we need to work with Frankie. It's because I've got a Max. <laughs> Where's her brother? Where's Frankie? You don't have to I won't. I just love that split level, didn't you, Frank? I mean, we can always make some, you know, adjustments. We can add on. We can do some things like that. It's so beautiful. Isn't it? uh, Arthur, I know that um, your publishing firm gave me an advance for a nonfiction work, my autobiography, but. This story just inspired me. Anyway, who wants another miserable retread of Victor Lord's miserable life, my miserable years with him, or his miserable death? This romance, it just poured forth. I mean, my fingers could barely keep up. Frankly, I don't care if you think I've reneged on our deal. I don't even care if you think my novel stinks. I know it's good. Arthur, please say something. Is Pride and Passion good or not? Good. No, Dorian, it's not good. It's bloody marvelous. Wait up, champagne, please. <laughs> yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> I don't care if we didn't agree on any of the houses we saw. At least we loved together. And look, we're going to find something we both like. Guarantee. I hope so. You know, I still say that split level on Halstead was awfully nice. And remember that backyard? Oh, you know, if a couple of little gans turned up, it would all be an awfully nice place for them to play. Hey. Are you even listening to me? Oh, baby, look, I'm sorry. You know, I was just thinking about that last house. You know, the one where the college girl answered the door. And you started thinking about Rachel. Yeah. I mean, for God's sake, why did she... Why did she leave St. Anne's? I mean, she, she was 30 days in the rehab. She was... She was so close. And God only knows what kind of trouble she had. I mean, where is she now? Nora, you don't have to do this. You've got pictures of Rachel all over the house. I've seen them. I can do it for you. No. I have to do it. I'm her mother. I have to be sure. I have all the times for Dad to be gone. Thank you for being here with me, Joe. Uh, this young woman in the river. Possibly two days or more. It's not a pleasant sight, I'm afraid. Are you ready?
Rachel is going to be found, Hank. Look, either that or she's going to realize she is loved and wanted, and she's going to reach out for you and Nora. Yeah, well, from your lips to God's ears. Here's to a romance novel that's not just extraordinary. I see a bestseller. Oh, well, I'll certainly drink to that. <laughs> oh, Vicky, how nice to see you. Hello, Arthur. How are you? Oh, please, don't get out. Oh. Don't get out. Hello, don't you? Hello, Vicky. I didn't know you were in town. Oh, yes, quick bit of business, and then I'm off again, I'm afraid. Is that... Is that manuscript yours, Dora? Yes, but it's not the book about my life with your father that I was going to write. It's not? No. I decided that that was one subject that didn't need to be rehashed. So, for your sake, I dropped it. My sake, my sake. No, it's, a, it's an absolutely blistering romance novel. <laughs> oh, well, they certainly sell, don't they? Mm, well, it's about this older woman and a younger man, and from what I've read, I sense a real bestseller from page one where the young man walks into her bedroom and they start disrobing and she shows him new ways to... Oh, this wouldn't be autobiographical by any chance, Dorian, would it? <laughs> I mean, good heavens, talk about intimate secrets. An author does tend to draw upon their personal life. Oh, Vicky. <laughs> My goodness, how are you? Oh, splendid, thanks. You as always look smashing. Oh, thank you. Dorian? Tina? Vicky, there's a nice table over by the bar. Shall we take it? Yeah, that's fine. Nice to see you. Oh, the pleasure's mine. Next time, perhaps, I'll have a spare minute. We can have a drink. That would be very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. You seem upset. Are you okay? Yes, I, I, uh, I think so. I hope so. Oh, my God. How did he get out of jail? Oh, he's coming this way. Oh, my God. What do I do? Should I, should I run? Should, should I ask for a steak knife? Is this a steak knife? My goodness, what are you doing here? Well, haven't you heard? I'm a meter reader in my spare time. Of course, how could I forget it? Come in. Can I make you some coffee? Yes. I have about an hour before I have to be at Mrs. Lord's. Oh, really? Oh, Does that mean you're going to change into that sexy maid's outfit? Oh, yes, very sexy. Frankly, I hate it for you to see me in that thing. It's so, so, I don't know. Wait a minute. You know, it's just a uniform. The only thing I don't like about it is it means you're working way too many hours. I know. Antonio hates it, too. But, and he's, you know. What's wrong? I, no, nothing's wrong with me, anyway. It's my son. Antonio? Yes. You know, lately he's been trying to clear his name. You know he was convicted for murder, but he actually was self-defense. Now, finally, he's running to the woman who can help him clear his name. And she won't testify. Why is it up, Huh? We both know you were there that night. Question is, what were you doing? Nothing, and let me go. Maybe you were begging Martinez on, huh? He never was much for brains. What did you tell him, huh? Huh? Go ahead, Ziggy. Take him out, I'll back you. No. Maybe you gave him the box cutter and slit my throat, huh? But when I whacked him and he went down, you took off so the cops never knew you were there. Look, I already told you, man. I was not near that place, all right? And I don't care what liar says I was. You go. You know what? Hey, Leon, even if I was there, it don't mean nothing. Because there's nothing you can do about it. You know what I mean? Nothing I could do, huh? Think again. You are so considerate. It's just amazing. You know, unless you have a child of your own, it's really hard to know what it feels like to lose one. 
Don't think your father didn't go through this when he was trying to find you. Yeah, well, he obviously got over it. He didn't get over it. How can you say that? He did not get over it. He had to go on with his life. He didn't have a choice. It's not something that he wanted to do. Why is it that you are always looking for what's wrong? You know, there are ways to compel witnesses to testify. I mean, in a, especially in a, in a murder case. And uh, after all, your son is only trying to clear his name. Oh, but she's afraid, Clint. Well, that could be taken care of, too. She can be protected. Believe me, there are ways that we can help Antonio. Really? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I feel better already. But then I always feel better when you're around. So whenever you're in the neighborhood and you need to read my meter. Whoa. <laughs> uh, actually, I came by because I thought we should be very clear about um, Jessica and Christian. I already spoke to Vicky about all this, and... Uh... Yes, so did I. And I'm afraid I got a little angry. Yes, I heard that. Well, she was, she was very nice, as she always is. But when she started talking about us, started saying if we weren't together, we wouldn't be sending the wrong signals. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I think that's mainly because that's what the kids have been saying. I will live my life as I choose. I will not be blamed for our children's behavior. And you shouldn't be. I couldn't agree with you more. Really? Yeah. Well, we seem to be agreeing on a great many things lately, huh? Yeah. What does that mean? I'm going to apply the screws where they hurt the most, and you're going to squeal long and loud, and you are going to help me clear my name. You know, sometimes I think not only stupid, but you're blind. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look around you, my man. You don't see me wearing an apron, slinging rice and beans for a living. No way, I'm a businessman now. Some real powerful friends. Hey, uh, what are you doing with that, man? Me? Slinging rice and beans. You owe a lot of people money, you know? Next time you're late with your payment, RJ can end up owning this dump. Then you'd be working for me. Wouldn't that be a kick? What are you doing here, Perez? Just tell your little boyfriend to watch who he messes with, because I can bring him down. What's going on? What does Javier think he's got on you? Javier? No, he's got nothing on me. He just got a little freaked out, that's all. Why? Because I told him that I knew he was there the night I killed Ziggy Martinez when he came after me with the box cutter. Javier was there at the pool hall? I can't prove it. But he got mighty nervous when I called him on it. He was there. <sighs> well, what about that other woman, Sonia DeSantis? Is she going to testify that you were just uh, acting in self-defense? No, she's still too scared to... that her hubby might find out that she was out with another guy that night. Well, the other guy wasn't Javier, was it? No. Well, we'll just have to turn her around. Get her to change her mind, you know, get her to talk. Don't lose faith in Sonia or Javier. Maybe he wasn't on the list of police witnesses that night, but we got to find someone who will ID Javier or that guy that Sonia was with. What? Nothing. I was just about to uh, kill that punk right before you walked in. I at least put my fist through a window. You've been here five minutes and my hopes are up again and I'm starting to feel good again. How do you do that?
And about the book tour, I'm really so excited. I think on all of those talk shows, I'd be a real natural. <laughs> I particularly am interested in starting We're going to dig. Hello, Vicky, Tina. Look, I know I'm probably the last person that either one of you wants to see, but I'm leaving Landview for good. Oh. And I just wanted to come by and say goodbye and apologize. Well, I don't really think an apology is going to make up for what you did to my family. I know. From the moment that I got here, I posed as your long-lost half-brother. Mm. And, and when the family opened their arms up to welcome you, what did you do? I took advantage and tried to steal the inheritance. I know I'm a despicable person. I'm aware of that. But what I have to say to you is that after I got to know you, Vicky, and your family, I wish that I really were your real brother instead of Todd Manning. Not just for the money, for the family. But that would have meant that I couldn't marry the woman that I loved. Oh, don't, don't start with me, David. You're such a narcissistic, sociopathic, borderline personality with sadomasochistic tendencies. You know, if you were in therapy for 50 years, you'd still be sick. I did love you, Tina. Those feelings were real. They Please. still are. Please. <clears throat> I know that I've made too many mistakes to get you to forgive me, but I'd like you to know, Tina, that if things had worked out between us, my whole life would have been different. I may throw up, and I haven't even eaten yet. I'm sorry to have hurt you. Tina, I'm going to turn my life around. I really am. Goodbye. I'm only sorry we can't have dinner together, but I have to get back to New York. I just can't wait to get my seat on the train so I can finish reading your book. Oh, my goodness. So many compliments. Now, from what I've read already, it's deserved. And if the second half's as good as the first half, we'll have to fight off the film offers from Hollywood. It's even steamier. Really? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> well, au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> David, you're supposed to be gone. We had a deal, remember? Yeah. In exchange for Kelly and I not testifying against you, you are supposed to pull a disappearing act the minute you were released from prison. Look, Hank Gannon is one over there. I could tell him I changed hey, my mind. Hey, hey, hey. Relax. My bus leaves in about an hour. I just wanted to say sayonara. Look, I know that uh, you and I have had our ups and downs. Oh, David, please. It was a living hell. I will not allow you to rewrite history. Well, actually, the ups and downs that I was referring to were more along the lines of... Oh, come on, Dorian. Those ups and downs weren't so bad now, were they? Dorian Lord, I will miss you to my dying day. Oh. You are like no other woman I have ever met. Really? What, are you kidding? <gasps> Come on, what do you say? You and me, one last roll on the hay. We'll go out to that stable in the back, huh? You'd like that, wouldn't you? The passion, the sweat pouring forth from our body. Oh. Is that what you really want? Yes, my God, yes. Ah! Ah! The answer is no. Ah. Now, forever. Ah. No. Now, at this age, everything's centered around play. Um, what you need to remember is to keep eye contact as much as possible because an awful lot of communication is going to be visual. So, Frank, you won't need hearing aids. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Let's just, let's focus for today, okay? Mm-hmm. You want to vocalize everything you do because every sign, every bit of communication, it's going to have to be accompanied by speech. If he claps his hands, uh -huh. you'll clap your hands and say it. Clap, clap, like that, okay? 
Okay, yeah. Okay, let's start with this toy. All right. That's good. You heard me. Bang, bang, bang. You want to point to your ears a lot to reinforce the sound that he's not getting. Yeah, sure. Good. This is a great toy for deaf kids to start with. All right? You want to keep the gestures as close to your mouth as possible. And remember to keep the eye contact. Frankie. Frankie. <gasps> Now it's Daddy's turn. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if I feel really stupid doing this. Why? You didn't feel stupid dancing around the living room with your hearing daughter. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> what, are we agreeing again? Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Who would have thought when we first met that we'd, we would ever see eye to eye on anything? <laughs> That's right. And now, look at us. Here we are worrying about the same thing we were when we first met. Yes, how to keep Christian and Jessica apart. Oh, God. Thank God they're in school today. You know, I think I can understand why they think that we're being too protective. But they are just much too young to be so wrapped up in each other's lives. Ay, gracias. Madre Dios, you can imagine what could have happened when we were gone in New York. I can't imagine. I can't think of it. Yeah, I know. Not that I was all that excited about cutting it short and coming home early. Well, my sons thought it was a great idea coming home early. They don't think that I should have a life at all. And what about you? What do you think? Actually, I think that we should reschedule our trip to New York as soon as possible. Do you really? Mm-hmm. Although, what with Edina and Antonio now, worried about this person who won't help him to clear his name? Maybe a while before I can get away for a weekend to New York. Well, maybe we don't need a whole weekend. In fact, maybe we don't even leave New York. know how hard this has been on you and Nora, but Rachel is gonna call, or write, or something. She loves you. And forget about the house hunting. Listen, sweetheart, I, I'm not gonna fall into this self-pity routine, okay? Now, I know how long you've been wanting to look at houses, so let's just keep at it. Now, look, I, maybe I won't be able to make a decision, but I can at least take the information. Oops. Excuse me. It's the police station. I need to make a call. Oh, excuse me, Neil. Could you get a phone for me, please? Oh, sure, Mr. Gannon. Thank you. Well, I hope that seeing David Vickers wasn't too uncomfortable for you. Oh, are you kidding? I have nothing but contempt for that piece of slime. Which means, obviously, my therapy is working, right? Well, at least for David, anyway. I. I might need to find a new therapist about my other problem. You know what? I really wish that you would concentrate not so much on therapy, but on getting out more and seeing people. I hate to see you sitting alone all the time. You need to get out. You need to find someone who will care about you. Oh, I'm fine. I am. I'm worried about you. Me? I'm fine. Really, I am. I'm worried about you. <laughs> you know what we are? We are two independent women who just, at the moment, have no men in our lives.
That's right. No men. DA Gannon on 6 0, Mrs. Buchanan. You can take it over there. Thank you, Gail. Hi, Hank. It's Nora. I was the one who beeped you. Why? What's up? Is this about Rachel? Uh, yes and no. Um, you're bound to hear about this, so I... <clears throat> first, the good news. It wasn't Rachel. Okay, you got that? Uh, yes, yeah, so what's it about? What's up? There was a body found in the Lantano River. Uh, it, it... close to Rachel's age, similar descriptions... So... Wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, are you, it definitely wasn't Rachel? No. I went to the morgue, I looked. It wasn't Rachel. Thank God. Look, Nora, um, are you all right? Me? Yeah. All right. Fine, I just wanted you to know that's all. Okay? Yeah. Listen, thanks. I, I really appreciate the call. No problem. See you soon. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna find. Oh God, you're here. Oh, well, there was a body that was found on the Lantano River. I thought it was Rachel. I went to the morgue. Oh. I'm so glad you're back. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it wasn't Rachel. No, no, she's here now. I needed you. And I got you now, honey. Everything's gonna be fine. Just fine. Oh, well, hello, David. My goodness, I'm glad you're not angry with me. I had a run-in with a member of the club. So you don't happen to have a picture of ice water on you, do you? No. That thing loaded. What? Oh, no. <laughs> I'll be frank with you, David. I thought you were in jail. From what I'd read, there were a whole slew of charges against you. Yeah, they were trumped up by Doreen and her lackey, Hank Gannon. Mm. You know what it is, Liz? Anyone in this town who's the least bit original is considered a freak, a criminal. I know what you mean. That's exactly why I'm going to New York City today. Oh, good for you. I've had enough of this town, too. I'm leaving tomorrow. You know, I was the best mayor Landview, Pennsylvania ever had. And was I appreciated? No, I was thrown over for a gangster's mall. Well, no more. I'm leaving today for good. Really? Mm. Where are you going? I'm going to drive down to Palm Beach, where old money is still valued. Is that a fact? Mm hmm You know, that's such a coincidence, because I'm leaving for Palm Beach myself. I thought you said New York. I did say that, didn't I? Yes. Uh, and the reason I said that was because I'm going to New York to catch a plane to go to Palm Beach. Oh. You know, what? No, no, I... What? I'm, no, I, I'm no, sure you like what? to drive alone, and I wouldn't... Oh, no, like it. Like it, I hate it. Why? Well, I was thinking that maybe we could go together. I mean, after all, Liz, I do enjoy your company. The wonderful conversations that we have. Those marvelous eyes. Mm. What do you say we make the haul together? Oh, my goodness. How could I ever refuse? Great, great. Thank you. You know, maybe we could talk about that Broadway musical that I'm producing. I did mention that to you, oh, didn't yes, I? Oh, yes, the one with Brad Pitt. Right, uh, with Brad. Yes. And Winona Ryder has uh, recently joined the cast as well. Oh, yes, they're going to make their singing and dancing debuts together. Oh. Uh -huh. And uh, the Judds are going to be reunited on our stage. Oh, God. And I, I, I probably shouldn't tell you this part, but... Uh, what? We just signed Cindy Crawford last week as the bad girl. Oh, the oh, bad girl? Oh, how exciting! You know, I think I'm going to like this musical. Oh, I'm sure you will. 
Now, Liz, the minimum investment at this point is $100,000. Oh, send me a bag of shells. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. When they pulled back the sheet, it was just I felt so suspended. Like I was floating and I couldn't breathe. I know. The nerve. It wasn't Rachel. And I was saved for another day. I kept thinking about the parents of that poor girl. I know. I know, honey. Was... I'm just I'm sorry that you had to go through something like this alone. Hey, come on. Come on, let's just uh, sit down over here, okay? Hey, Gil, could you get us some water, please? You bet, Commissioner. Oh, such a bit cheeky. Honey, it could have been Rachel. Okay, but when Rachel uh, called RJ, she sounded fine. Is that what he said? Yes. Okay, look, there's no reason to expect the worst. God, I hope not. Oh, I hope not. Oh, thank you, Gil. Do I? I can't stay here. You want me to take you home? No, no, that's not what I meant. I meant, uh... I have this feeling. What? I want to go to Chicago. Rachel had some friends there. She could have left New York by now. She could be in Chicago staying with one of them. I also have an opportunity to get in touch with my mother and my father, call Hank's parents. You know, she could have tried to make contact with any one of them, you know? Yeah, um, I'm sure. When do you want to leave? Um, I don't know. Uh, today. I make some phone calls. That's what I gotta do. Change some appointments. Honey, listen. I'm so sorry that I wasn't there when you needed me. Mm. You sure you're gonna be okay? Fine, fine. Please don't feel bad. Drew was with me. He was wonderful. He really was. He's like a chip. Where did Drew go? He's gone. Again. Get a rug. I'm gonna teach you how to duck walk like Chuck Berry. Come on. Maybe a little, ooh, Sam Cook. Some little like romantic. You send me? Baby, you do. Max? What? Why don't you put Frankie to bed? He wasn't tired. Look, Maggie, you may know everything there is to know about teaching deaf kids, but I know my son, Frankie, is tired. He'd hardly been up a half hour. He was tired, and besides, I didn't want Leslie to think I was ignoring her. Well, it's not Leslie who's being ignored, it's Frank. You're pulling away from him. Can't you feel it? So, tell me again how you're going to get Sonia to testify and Javier, too. I don't know. I just know that there's a lot of ways that we haven't tried, and I'm not going to give up until at least one of them helps clear your name. You know, I think I'm losing grip on reality. What? Well, <laughs> I, I mean it. You say stuff like that, and I believe you. Gee, thanks a lot, Vega. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be really tough to get Sonny DeSantis to change your mind and testify. And you can forget about Javier. Oh, come on. Javier's always walking on thin ice anyway. It's just a matter of time before the cops have something on him and he's willing to trade some information. That's probably Javier right there, wanting to trade. <laughs> Get out of here. TK Diner. Hey, Tonio, this is your pal Javier. We need you to come to the club so we can have a talk. You can forget about it. I'm busy. No, no. I wouldn't do that if I was you, my man. Yeah. Well, I'm doing it. See, you don't call the shots when you're this far in debt. So get your butt over here right now, or you're gonna be one sorry sucker. Comprende? <laughs> 